What's up guys, Kevin here with 818 Retrofits, and I'm gonna show you how to retrofit our bi-LED projector retrofit in an H11 style housing. So, first things first, when you open up our accessories, you're gonna have the accessory bag, you're gonna have the projector itself, you're gonna have your rubber gasket washer, your locking nut, and three adapter rings, plus a 9006 plug for the high beam. So for this setup, we are going to be using either the H4 or the H7 adapter ring. Okay, to assemble the projector, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rubber gasket, feed the wires through, and if you look very closely, there is a thin side of the gasket and a thick side of the gasket. The thin side of the gasket is always gonna go on top of the projector where this little notch is. So we're just gonna push it down, get it lined up, and there's the thin side of the washer on top. Perfect. So this is set up right now. So this is a 2009 Honda Pilot. It uses, it uses a traditional H11 style adapter. You can see the H11 has the built-in. It's usually built into the reflector. It has the three notches. Now this is too small. We're gonna have to open this up and we're gonna need, we're gonna create a nice flat surface. Most, most H11s are just the same. So I've already prepared this one off camera. I'm gonna show you the other side. So as you can see, we've bored out that hole. Uh, it's basically removed the notches. And then we've taken our belt sander. We've just flattened this out. I'm gonna show you the two side by side. You can see how there was that notch and is now flattened. So this is now ready to go. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I've already fed the projector through. We're gonna go ahead and determine which um, adapter ring you're gonna use. So with the Honda Pilot, there is a gasket that sits right on here on the outside of this lip. So we don't wanna have any type of protruding like nubs here or anything like that beyond this some housings are a little bit wider you can get away with the h4 plate but we we noticed that the h7 plate works the best because it's a lot smaller has a lot of smaller profile so i'm going to go ahead and feed the wires right through all right so again the with the h7 adapter ring there's a little nub here the nub always points forward I'm gonna feed our locking ring. And we're gonna crank her down. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna grab our pliers. And we are going to be turning this one until the little these little ears are at nine and three. So we're gonna snug that down. Perfect. You can see that the nub, the little, these little grips are at nine and three o'clock. Turn the reflector projector around and we're gonna make sure that this is aligned perpendicular. So the sides of the projector here, they are horizontal, or I'm sorry, they're vertical. And you see the reflector at vertical lines. We are gonna match them up until they are aligned. So just give it a little bit of rotation. And you can see here, both sides, do you see how they are perfectly aligned? They are parallel with each other. This projector is now rotationally perfect. You can also verify it with these upper holes and also uh, the exposed through those two holes that with those two right there. Their inner reflector lines, you can kind of see that they're exposed, that the those lines are visible at the same time. Same with here. You see how the lines are perfectly aligned. There you go. Same with this side. Okay, so now this projector is ready to be epoxied into place. All right, guys. So what I've done here is I have prepared some JB Quick Weld. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take it. We're going to slather it on. You also notice the blue tape. So I placed the blue tape here because I don't want JB Quick Weld to be rolling off to the side here. I just want to make sure that it's only on this back section because remember, we need to have that rubber gasket go back on and that's going to create a leak-free seal. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some JB Quick Weld. We're going to press it into place, okay? So we just want to press it all into those voids, into the cavity. You know, go ahead and make it, just fill it in because this is going to lock the projector into place. We do not want this thing to move. Do not trust the locking nut. Do not trust just friction. You will want to epoxy this in place. 
And what you're also going to do is you're also going to, you see the threaded shaft there, the little black portion? You're going to want to make sure that you're locking the threaded shaft to the uh, locking nut to the reflector bowl. So once you attach everything together, it's all one unit. All right, press that into place. So I'm going to continue this off camera and then I'm going to take the tape off for you. All right, guys, so there you have it. I've already taken the tape off. Look how smooth that JB Quick Weld is. It kind of self levels itself. And this is what I meant. You see how the tape created a nice clean edge? So when the gasket goes back on, that's going to create a watertight seal, just like factory. Now, because this H11 bulb is exposed to the elements, you can tell there's a there's an opening in the center. Now, this is technically designed for the headlight or the projector to breathe, to pull in that fresh air. But the entire housing is actually fairly large. So what it will do is it'll circulate the internal temperature of the, uh, of the, the fan will circulate inside. So what we're going to do, we don't want water to get inside there. So once this is dried up, I'm going to take some JB steel stick. Um, which is this one, uh, we're going to just create a little um, steel stick and then we're just going to fill that void. And I've already taped the wires together just so it's kind of, um, it's easier to steel stick it. But then we're going to go and plug that hole. All right, guys, so now this is dry, we're going to take our steel stick, unravel it, we're going to massage it together. What that's going to do is going to activate the two parts. After we activate it, we're going to go ahead and install it, plug that hole. All right, it's going to roll it up and we're just going to press it right in there. Press right in there all the way around the wires. What that's going to do is going to press right inside the projector shaft and fill it with steel stick. That way we don't get any water inside. Now you don't have to do this step. It's recommended. Um, it's definitely recommended when the bulb opening is exposed to elements. If there's no like cap that, you know, where the headlight is inside a sealed cap, you don't have to worry about it. But because this is exposed to the elements, this is just an extra step. You never know water gets its side inside. I mean, we haven't had any issues in the past. Our customers have not complained about it before. So this is just insurance so after it looks nice and clean and that's it so now I'm gonna show you close up that hole is plugged and everything is nice and sealed so this is going to be a perfect retrofit with no water inside and it's gonna look good from the back as well if you have any questions go ahead and shoot us an email sales at 818retrofits.com we're also on uh, Facebook and Instagram. You can also send us a text or give us a call, 818-446-9427. And hopefully see you on the next video. Thanks.